What's up guys, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today we're going to be showing you how to install a volt gauge in my super here. And I have to give a special thanks to ProSport for hooking, it up, hooking us up for this episode. We're going to be installing their performance series voltage gauge. And a voltage gauge, a lot of cars come with them. Some water cars, I know my Camaro did. My Sentra doesn't and obviously the Super doesn't, that's why I'm installing one. But there's a few good reasons why you may want one. Um, they're good to monitor your voltage. Um, it's easy to tell if your alternator is dying if you have a voltage gauge or if you get in your car and your voltage is way below 12, you know that something is wrong. It's like a diagnosis tool. Um, it's also good for troubleshooting. Like if, if you didn't have a voltage gauge and you're trying to start your car and your starter's just clicking, you might not be sure if it's your bad starter or if you don't have enough power. So a voltage gauge will tell you if you have enough power or not. And plus, they look cool. These gauges, the Performance Series, they're supposed to be white during the day. And we're going to hook them up to the headlight switch so when we turn our headlights on, they're going to go amber. So it's pretty cool how they, how they look at nighttime. And we're going to show you how to install it. So stay tuned. All right, so we installed this boost gauge in this A-pillar pod. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is just take it off and mount the gauge in here and get the wire ran down to where we can hook it up to the ignition and all that. All right, so once we get the A-pillar off, we're about ready to run the wire. But before you run the wire, you wanna find out where you wanna get your power source from. And it's gotta be uh, the ignition and the headlight switch. There's two power sources. Um, and we're thinking about getting power from behind this panel because it's close and it's probably going to be pretty easy to work with instead of going somewhere under the dash. So we're going to try to take this off. And we're going to probe one of these wires and find out if any are power on with the ignition or if they're just on all the time. And also find the ground wire to plug into because when you ground this gauge, you either need to have like the good ground source is either a bolt that's touching bare metal that's not painted it's got to be metal on metal or touching an appropriate ground wire so we're just going to go with the ground wire we're not going to wrap around a bolt and once we find that we got to hook it up and then we're going to hook it up to the headlight switch and this gauge is going to be on it's going to be awesome so now we got to find which one's power and to do that you need to put your key in the ignition hot and fresh out the kitchen all right so we, this is the sun the sunroof door switch, which no longer works. And there's a big fat red wire, and we're gonna probe it and see if it gives power. All right, so we got power. It's showing 11.07 volts. The ignition is on, and we're gonna turn the ignition off. We're gonna keep the power one on there. Just gonna take the ground off to turn the key off and see if it gives power. No power at all. Turn the key back on. Not the engine. <laughs> and I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is power again. Showing another 11 volts. So this red wire right here is a power with the ignition, and this black one is a ground. We're going to hook it up to that, and then the headlight switch. And it's going to be awesome. We're going to have a volt gauge, because I'm tired of having to jump my car and not knowing it and being stranded, because I just don't have a volt gauge. This is really cool. So what we're doing here, this is the harness for the pro sport gauge that we have. This is a heavier gauge wire. We're going to tape the harness to this gate, to this wire, and try to use this as like a, like a feed or like a snake or whatever, like electricians use, to try to route it. Because these wires are really small and flimsy, and they're just going to kind of like kink up when we try to push them through stuff. So we're going to attempt, once this is taped up, to fish it down here right next to this uh, boost line, and hopefully get it to come out here. Just don't, don't break off. Don't break up. We got it! <laughs> Look at that. There it is. Woo! That's how you run wire. I'll show you exactly what we did. You can see this beautiful specimen of bundle. Just tape this and shove it through because it's a little heavier duty and it won't bend as much. And then yank this thing on through. Bam! Now we get to hook it up. So we got the wires ran, and we're about to hook up the engine accessory, the 12 volt accessory, and the ground. On the instructions that ProSport sends you, 
Keep in mind, we are installing the performance series gauge. The other series of gauges that ProSport has to offer wire up differently. It says for the red wire to hook up to 12 volt accessory power and the white is engine accessory power. I contacted ProSport and they said that you could put both of those wires together just to make sure that it's hooked up to an ignition source so it's not getting power all the time. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to bundle the two together and hook it up to the ignition wire and then the black wire is going to be the ground which is right there. So we're going to do that and then it's hooking the orange up to the headlights. So let's do it! Go to the strip club and strip it. Get it naked. What we're going to do is uh, put these two wires right here together. Take your crimp and you can solder it or whatever. We're just choosing this. This method, it's easier and you don't risk melting plastic. And like we said earlier, you don't have to hook up the ground to this wire. You can hook it up to a bolt if you want with like an eye hook. But if you do that, make sure it's metal to metal contact. It's not the metal bolt on paint. Otherwise, it may not ground properly and your gauge might not work. Now for the power. Power time. Make sure your ignition is off when you do that. Otherwise, you may get shocked or you could short something out or blow a fuse or die. And you especially don't want to ruin your car, because ruining your car is probably worse than dying. So now, like we were saying earlier, you can hook up the 12 volt source and the engine bay power source together, which are the red and white wires right here. So we're just going to put them together. Shove that in there! Yeah, nice and deep. Yeah. The only way. The only way. Alright, so there we go. This gauge should work right now. We got both powers hooked up and the ground. So, let's see if we did our wiring correctly. It's better to check it now than get everything put together and figure out something does not work. Oh, oh, oh it works! God. That is beautiful. It works! We could technically be finished this install right now if we really wanted to but we wouldn't be getting the full benefit, benefit of the gauge. This gauge has two different colors, white, as you see right now, and then amber. You can have a couple different setups. You could have it white the whole time if you wanted. You could have it amber the whole time if you wanted. The way you would do that is just instead of hooking up this white wire to the power, is hook up the orange wire and then it would be amber. Or you could have it amber during the day and then white when you turn your headlights on. So you would hook up the amber to your 12 volt and then the white to your headlight or vice versa. Or, like, there's like four different options you would want. But we're not going to cut you short. We're going to show you how to complete the install. We're going to show you hooking it up to the headlight so we get the dual function. And it's going to look pretty awesome. And we're going to have it to where it's white during the day and amber during the night. It's just what we like. You could do whatever you prefer, but we're just going to show you how to do it. All right, so now we're trying to find power for the headlights. We found power. So this is the fog light switch on the Supra. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but we have power right now. And then when I turn the headlights off, none. Turn them on, power. And this is the green wire on the fog light switch. Now this isn't directly the headlight switch or the marker light switch or whatever, but this is basically the same power source. It's getting power when this switch is on. When trying to connect to the headlight switch, make sure you find a non-dimmable source. If you use a dimmable source, such as your gauge lights, it may not give the gauge enough power to change the color. So we're gonna hook the orange wire from the gauge into that, and it should turn to uh, amber when we turn the headlights on. So let's do it. Okay, so this is the green power wire from the fog light switch. Make sure, once again, that your ignition is off so you don't get shocked, kill yourself, or uh, die or anything. So, all right, so we got our Orange wire ran to the same spot. Just gonna twist these here together. Once again, you could solder or whatever you'd like. We are just using crimps. Double check and make sure your crimp is good, nice and tight. That's what she said. Now we just gotta make this last crimp. 
Looks to be tight to me. Let's see if it works. Turn it on. Headlights off. It's white. White and sexy. Headlights on. Amber. Ooh. Yeah! I like that. So it's now, nice. we've got the wiring all done. We're going to button this back up, unplug the gauge, and get it put in the gauge pot. It's done, done, done! That was like... Done, 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 but... Or... Done, done, done! Done, done, done! <laughs> I hate us. Unplug it. Other than just monitoring this, the other reason we had this hooked up the entire time is it would really suck if we pulled on the wires down here and it just pulled it all the way through and we had to run it again. So this was kind of like a stop or two. Boom! There you go. Eight pillars in, gauge pods in. Look at this sexy gauge. Bam! White, bam, amber, mm. I love it. So, that concludes this episode. I hope you guys learned how to put it in. I hope you like the gauge. I want to thank ProSport for helping us out with this. This episode wouldn't be possible without them, so make sure you check them out. Stay tuned next time for more goodness.